Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Poly Bridge 3. We are back recreating the world's greatest bridges using this, everyone's favorite wheel, the Wheel of Bridge Tune. So we'll give it a spin, and this will randomly select one of the bridges you have nominated in the comments. If you want to add a suggestion for next time, whack it in the comments below. Unfortunately for you lot, though, you're not going to see the result. So we're straight into sandbox mode. And if you want to try and guess what the bridge is going to be before it's finished, I'll be handing out engineer points at the end. So for this bridge, we're actually heading to Budapest. And this bridge, it has quite a long span to be fair. Although surprisingly, it's actually the shortest bridge in Budapest center. So I guess Budapest has lots of long bridges. That's all I can take away from this. Anyway, we'll attempt to do it at a scale where we're doing 40 meters. The actual length is 333 meters, but uh, that'll be impossible in this game. Anyway, to start with, as always, with a lot of real life bridges, we need a bit of a curve because uh, that adds some strength. It helps with drainage, all that sort of stuff. Because if your bridge is flat, the water is just going to pull on it and you don't want that. So we'll go boosh to fill that with the road. Then I'm going to turn the grid on. You monster. I know, controversial, but I need to put these foundations in sort of at a point where we've got a large span in the middle. So the middle would be 20 meters. So yeah, we want to go 10 meters. So let's try one there and then another one there like that. So now our large span is split into three smaller spans. Obviously, the, the middle one is a bit bigger, but you should hopefully see why in a second. So I'm going to build this out of hydraulics purely just for color. Yeah, but really, it's, it's just made out of steel. So basically, where these pillars are, we have diagonals. So let's turn that grid off and bring that down and wang that in and that in. And then we should be able to lift that up a little bit. I just want to go vertical like that. Because basically, these are going to be the longest pieces in the bridge. So if I just copy that, mirror it, wang it on this one over there, then all I need to do is... Grab the line tool, go from there to there, but then go downwards like that sort of thing. And then to be honest, I feel like I need to I need to change the road. I need to add more road almost. But essentially, if I just go from there vertically straight up like that, remember to extend the hydraulic just so we've got the color right. Yes, you can call me an architect for that. Then we just go straight up from all of these nodes like that sort of thing. Then with those in place, we do the diagonal from the top left down like that so that's how the trusses work on this one you don't make triangles like that sort of thing you just go from the middle pillar to the center of the bridge and then we connect all of these together like that so that's made this half of the middle span you can then do the same coming this way i mean actually i'm probably gonna need let's add another anchor up there add a cheeky pillar up there as well and then we can do our curve in the other direction like that that looks pretty good. I mean, it sort of looks like a suspension bridge, but it is all truss. There's no cables on this bad boy. But again, we go straight up. I mean, technically, we should go like perpendicular with the road. But uh, that's the one thing that always sort of confuses me, trying to do these small scale realistic bridges. Because you always have these curves in, but like in real life, the perpendicularness, you can't really see it because the scale is so big. Anyway, same thing in that we do our truss from the top to the bottom left. So we're always heading away from these middle piers. And we can connect all these top bits up, extend all of these so it's blue. Although this bridge is actually green rather than blue. Anyway, now we've got, you can probably tell this, this is slightly in the wrong place. Is that on a grid? Oh, it is on the grid. Okay, that's good to know. So we can bring that down to like there-ish and then the final bit of truss work is just sort of like just a bit of underneath support so almost like that so yeah something like that looks pretty good to me so then i just grab all of this copy mirror wang it on this side then quickly connect the middle with a cross brace like that. And then we're nearly there. We just need a little bit of decoration. Yes, unfortunately, this bridge does have architecture built in. So we've got a cross beam under there, which I'll do with road. Then we have a sort of pointy hat thing. Now, what I might want to do is sort of, if I hide them there, I can probably use cable 
just to hold that in place and I can lift that up pretty high. Yeah, that looks good to me. I mean, these are just products of architecture, so I don't need to think about them too much. But there we have it. It's the Liberty Bridge in Budapest. Yeah, built in 1894, um, although it was rebuilt in 1945. Presumably, it got bombed in the war. And after a quick Wikipedia, yes, it did suffer heavy damage during World War II. But I quite like that one, aside from the bits of architecture on the top. I don't really know why there's sculpture built in. But this is a cantilevered bridge, so much like the, the fourth rail bridge. All right, before we move on to the next bridge, we are going to do what I love to do. We go to Unbreakable, we add a hydraulic phase at the start, and then we press play and we see what the bridge does. I am a scientist. It's so cool. It's growing. It's growing. <laughs> okay, so that is the bridge. I cannot see the car making it across in the slightest question though if we swapped it for matt and paddy in the g wagon and we crank up the horses to all the horses surely matt and paddy can make it through this i know it's quite a steep hill but oh oh no too much horsepower oh paddy he was oh paddy was driving that's why a very cool bridge thanks for suggesting that one anyway it's time to go back to everyone's favorite wheel the wheel of bridge tune and let's give it a spin and see what we land on Okay, so for this bridge, we're heading back to the US, but this doesn't actually exist anymore. It's been replaced with something new. Yeah, and the new bridge is actually more of a build than the original, but it's similar to something I've built fairly recently in this series. So I figured I'll try and build the original version and perhaps we can see why it got replaced. Yeah, but basically, this spans a huge gorge. So I'm going to need a bit of terrain just to sort of make the, make the steep walls I'll do a little bit of that. And then up this side, we'll do some more steep canyon walls. So that looks pretty good. Hopefully, I've actually done the span at a span. I can actually build this, if that makes sense. But I think if we put the road in first, we should be able to work backwards from there. So, boosh. That's the road in. So that's 55 meters. So the middle is like 27 and a half about there. So half of that is about over here somewhere because this bridge is also a cantilevered bridge, uh, which means I can probably do this with the grid on, but it'd be nice to try and build this as original as possible. Oh, actually, why are we, oh, we're off grid. We're off grid. Hang on. I'll have to just boost by hand. So yeah, when I use the line tool, it doesn't do the max length. It just like makes it fit. So I do actually have to move my gorge over a bit. Thankfully, this is polybridge and not real life. I mean, to be honest, looking at this, I feel like my gorge is going to have to be massively increased in size anyway. Unless, yeah, what I might do, I might sort of half scale this. So if I do my pieces that long, yeah, I think that will actually work way better. Oh, and it reaches over there. Nice. Okay, so for the pillars, let's just sort of mark on. I'm going to start doing the pillar here. So we do 45 degrees down to that point. So then we go straight up there. We meet in the middle and that should allow us to go straight up like that as well. Okay, cool. Then we can copy that mirror, shove it there. And then that is the basis of our pillar. We then just want to go from that point down to that point, that one down to that one. And we can move these down a bit. Okay, then I need to work out how to do the cantilever bit. By the way, this will go like, this will be quite a tall pillar. I just want to make sure we're at the right sort of scale. Because the thing with Polybridge, you can only, your steel pieces can only be that long. And I am about to need to go from down there. Is it all the way up to there? Oh no, there is middle point. Okay, I think I think we're good actually. I think we're good. Let's build the entire pillar all the way down first then. So basically we go straight across, but then... We're doing another 45 degrees down to there. Then we're going straight up to intersect. And we want to delete that and replace with two so we can intersect that underneath as well. Then we can just copy a mirror. Always copy a mirror if you're trying to build symmetrical stuff. Makes it way easier. A lot less work. All right, this is where it might get tricky because then this continues all the way down. So 45 degrees is there. Do we reach straight up? Oh, we do just about. That is on the limit of being to scale. But nice. Okay, from that point, we do a middle and then we go down again. So we end up with that sort of thing. But on this one, the smaller triangles go from that point to the middle. So we end up with that. Man, there's lots of triangles in all different all different layouts on this. All right, the next piece is basically this, but mirrored underneath like that. Although our gorge is in the way. 
Let's just move that down a little bit. All right, then this is actually the point where it attaches to the ground. So I think we're not actually too too bad a scale there. I've done that pretty pretty well in my opinion. So basically we end up with that sort of thing. Although hang on, you're you're not there. Delete you. Okay, so the question is, <laughs> it looks very very odd. I will say that. Does that pillar hold? Oh dear. Oh dear. It doesn't hold because we have we have a squid. Well, we have a pentagon there technically. However, I think once we start cantilevering out, that will shore this up. Although quite an unusual design if there's a big hole in the middle that well, you would have thought they'd build it like from the pillar out. I'm not I'm not really sure anymore. All right, well anyway, this is where it might get a little bit off gridish because basically I need to go to each node above. But I think if I do that triangle down to there, yeah, I think it looks something like this. Now, I'm not going to lie, I don't really know why, like, who came up with all these, like, it's quite an irregular looking truss. I'm not entirely sure why at the moment. Maybe we'll be able to see once we actually get some, like, a load on here with the with the stress turned on we can see how all the different bits work but for now i'm a little bit baffled not gonna lie okay so basically that's our pillar and now we've done the upper truss and then there's like a sort of flat truss in the middle now this one just does triangles unlike before they're sort of symmetrical about the middle point so they're more like that so if we copy that every single time we've then got five triangles so that is the middle point there and then four, five like that. And then there's another one of those, which is just like a triangle on its side. So it's not like a pointy up triangle. It's just like a half triangle. And then it goes back to that. So if we just copy that, mirror it, and then paste it there, you can see how much further we need to move the gorge. We need to move it down and across. So let's just move all those out the way, wang it in there. Then we can move the gorge back to the right place. And so we can just fill this in in so we end up with something like that and then we can press play and see what happens oh it does actually hold i was not expecting that i will not lie to you so standing stress is 70 percent let's just have a look at what this bridge is it's the Perrine Memorial Bridge, although technically this was the Twin Falls Bridge. But I mean, yeah, basically this wasn't strong enough to support like the new loads of like big lorries and stuff. So they replaced it with a huge steel arch bridge like the like the gorge one I did the other week. Um, but let's turn the stress on. And if we just look at this from the front, you can see where the stress is. So down this edge here. And then the road in the middle, it's very, very stressed. Although, to be fair to the bridge, like lorries, they weigh quite a lot. It goes up to like 80, 80 yeah, 90%. So it doesn't actually add too much stress. It has a fair amount of a fair amount of strength in this bridge, but you can sort of see like it, it needs an arch. Like the fact this isn't curved, it's not doing a lot. Like you got the stress down there, you got the stress up the top. There's a definite orange sort of arch in terms of stress hence why it's been replaced with a huge gorge bridge um, and you may remember earlier i was talking about the construction well have a look at this photo you can see them building it because it's cantilevered they can actually build it from each pier just adding adding to the middle longer and longer so yeah thanks for that suggestion really really cool bridge um sorry i didn't do the modern one but i did i did the original and i think it i think it's quite a cool bridge to be fair anyway let's give this thing one final spin today and see where it lands although you won't you can't keep getting away with it okay okay this is a very very cool looking bridge we're in america again we are crossing the mississippi river yeah, and honestly when i when i saw the name of this bridge i did not think it was american so that might be a clue for some of you that know your bridges it took six years to build starting in the 60s finished in the 70s i mean i'm not really sure how big to do this one like the last one again uh, but I'm pretty sure I can do full-scale roads. So let's just move this out the way for now. Because I don't know how long it's going to be till I start building. But uh, we need a foundation going to like there-ish. Uh, the total bridge length is like over two kilometers. I'm just going to focus on like the main bit. The cool bit. Because like the rest of it is just like foundations between like roads like that. Like that, that doesn't count. We don't care about that. The main span is 274 meters. And that is the bit we want to look at. Again, we're going to have to use hydraulics purely for the color. 
But basically, I'm building a huge steel truss arch. And then we're going to suspend the road from it. Uh, so I think I might work on the grid for now, but possibly come back afterwards. Because I don't really know. I mean, actually, I could try and get the number of road pieces in for like the number of cables. Hang on, let me just do some counting on the photo. Okay, it's got 11 pieces of road to the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hopefully, I can just copy that again. That is going to be a massive spam. Okay, we'll move, we'll move that out of the way. There's actually, there's two of these. I may need to do the half scale again. I didn't realize it was that big. Anyway, foundation to that bit of road. Then let's try and get an arch from there to there. So how big can our hydraulics go? Is that tall enough? I don't think that's tall enough. And that is the main constraint. I think we're going to have to half scale this one, I'm afraid. Yeah, we could do a 75% scale. I think that works. Yeah, I think that will work. That will work fine. Okay. So first up, I'm going to put the cables in just so they're all in the right place. So these just go vertically up to that line I just drew. And this is what's going to hold the road in place. The road's just going to dangle from this huge steel arch above. So I've done half. So I just copy them, mirror, wang them on the other side. Lovely jubbly. And I can remove that line because what I need to do, I need to, need to work out how this works. So we've got that there. That goes across there. And it looks like 45 degrees, something like that. I'll just expand these hydraulics. And then we've got our pier, which means I can put the top of the arch in if I copy to that side. So we go from that point to that point. We just sort of flatten it a little bit because the middle is slightly shallower than the outsides. Not really noticeably though, but that looks pretty good to me. Then we'll just do hydraulics straight up like that. I mean, we can actually go, yeah, like a zigzag. So from every cable, we're just going straight up, then diagonal down to the next one until we get to the middle, because then we need to copy this to the other side. Although actually, before I do that, I should probably extend all these hydraulics and fill in these gaps above and below. So quickly just draw those in, extend them all. Right, then we've got that. Then we can copy this to the other side. Lovely. Then we can copy all of this to there. And then we're nearly there. We just need to add one more curve. So if we go from, I mean, we want to go from like the tangent point. So probably there and there. And then if we bring these lines down to there. So this straight line is tangent to this like curve, this circle. And then I can just bring all these nodes up to meet this line. All right, so with that smoothed out, that's pretty much the main part of this bridge. Will it be strong enough? I'm not entirely sure, if I'm honest. Uh, let's press play and... Oh, it is. It is. Which means I can just add a few more bits of road. If I shove them all on anchors, I can make it look very realistic. So as I said before, this isn't really the main part of the bridge. This doesn't matter. Anyway, this is the final bridge, the Hernando de Soto Bridge. And comparing it to the original, I think it did a pretty good job. It's just a shame you can't get like the cross braces in without using road. And I don't think I want to use road because that will add more weight. And look, we're already on like 90% stress. And our vehicle hasn't even made it on. If I just speed it up. Oh my goodness, that is not very good. So let's turn the stress on. Oh, you can see what's happened. These are too flat. These are way too flat. Now, there is a very ingenious way I can make this work a bit better. I can come to Blueprint, click on the lorry, and I can just reduce the weight a little bit. Now it weighs five polygraphs, which honestly, looking at how red that is, I'm not sure if that's gonna help. Up to 99% stress. Oh, it just about makes it. <laughs> oh boy, 99% stressed almost the entire weight. So yeah, I think in reality, I probably should have made the this lower arch a little bit steeper. That would make it a lot stronger. But yeah, you can see it cost me under 500 grand. Now in real life, this expected to cost 12 million at the time, which in today's money is 72 million. But the final price tag was 57 million, which in today's money would be 269 million quid for a bridge that's 99% stressed. I will say though, a tied arch bridge is pretty bilfy in my opinion. So I think it's money well spent. Anyway, before we go, let's just head into sandbox. Let's turn on unbreakable, add a hydraulic phase, and uh, let's see what this bridge does. Hello. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Okay. So, question. One, will our lorry be able to get up that hill? Two, will the ambulance stay on the truck? Question one. Yes. Question two. Yes. What? All right. Look at it go. Look at it go. It's going to struggle down here, surely. No way. That worked better than the original bridge. <laughs> That's incredible. Right. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Remember, if you want your bridge added to the Wheel of Bridge soon, leave it in the comments. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and really wonky bridges. Bye, guys.